Overall, Phil Anselmo's life has been characterized by his dedication to music and his contributions to the metal genre. Despite the controversy and the challenges he has faced, he still continues to be a driving force in the metal scene. Philip Hansen Anselmo was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, June 30, 1968. His parents were both musicians, so naturally he was born with music in his blood. Anselmo co-formed his first band called Sam Hain with friends from his neighborhood. He sang and played guitar in the band. He joined a band called Rapid Phase in 1985, who would later change their name to Razor White after one of the songs Anselmo wrote. They had some original material, but mostly played covers of popular rock and metal bands. Anselmo dropped out of high school to concentrate on his music career. Anselmo joined Pantera in 1987 as the band's lead vocalist and they released their breakthrough album Cowboys from Hell in 1990. Pantera became massively successful in the 1990s. Anselmo's intense vocals and commanding stage presence were a big part of their success. They released a string of successful albums including Vulgar Display of Power, and Far Beyond Driven, which launched them into metal history books. With Pantera, Anselmo helped to pioneer the subgenre of groove metal, blending the aggression of thrash metal with the groove and swagger of southern rock. He struggled with drug addiction throughout his career due to a back injury which led to tensions with Dimebag Daryl and the rest of the band. In 2001, Pantera broke up and Anselmo went on to form the band's Down and Super Joint Ritual. Despite these setbacks, Anselmo continued to create music and perform and his passion for metal never left. He also became known for his charity work, particularly in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, which devastated his hometown of New Orleans in 2005. In recent years, Anselmo has continued to tour and record music, both with his band Phil Anselmo and the Illegals and as a solo artist. He also has been open about his struggles with addiction and has worked to raise awareness about the issue. Despite the ups and downs of his life, Phil Anselmo remains an icon in the world of metal. Known for his powerful voice and electrifying performances and dedication to the metal scene, Anselmo's passion for metal extended way beyond his own music. He founded the record label Housecore Records in 2001, which has released albums by a diverse range of metal and punk artists. He also collaborated with other musicians including Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters and members of Slayer and Anthrax. Phil Anselmo has publicly voiced his personal feelings feelings about race on stage throughout the years. As recently as 2016, he stirred up controversy when he proceeded to make a Nazi salute on stage and shout the words, white power. Anselmo issued a statement in which he apologized for his actions and acknowledged that his behavior was completely unacceptable. He also stated that he was not a racist and that he regretted his offensive remarks. Despite his apology, the incident led to a backlash from fans and critics, with many calling for him to be held accountable for his actions. Some canceled their support for Anselmo and he faced criticism from fellow musicians and industry figures. Anselmo also faced accusations of racism following an interview in which he used a racial slur to describe fellow musician. He later apologized for his language stating that he did not mean to offend anyone and that his remarks were taken out of context. These controversies had led some to question Anselmo's views on race and his place in the metal community. While he has apologized for his actions and statements. Some argue that his behavior has perpetuated harmful stereotypes and contributed to a culture of racism within the metal scene. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you next time.